How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. Uh, we are picking up where we left off. Uh, we just got done defeating the boss. That was pretty easy. <laughs> By comparatively, I only had half my health and I only uh, used up some of my healing items. I thought the fight was going to be one of those uh, multi-stage deals where you sit there. I mean, it's the first boss, so it's not going to be super hard. But, you know, it's one of those ones you'd have, you know, fight three tiers of the same enemy kind of thing. But, whatever. It was still fun. A little different fighting that Mewtwo-looking guy, but... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started, so, uh, welcome back to Dust, everybody. Alright. Hmm, more monsters. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. <laughs> we kill anybody's Maybe children. Maybe you look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? Not with those kind of words. There's just no pleasing some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Well, for truck stops. Oh, that's the move. I thought it was uh, just the fireballs that he launched. There we go. That's what I needed. Let's go up this way and see what's going on. A key, I say. A key! A key! Is this back in the village? I meant to go high and see what was up there, but I guess it was just that alternate route's the only thing that was up this area. Oh well. Well, that worked out nicely. Hmm. I can definitely see the fireball one's still going to be useful. The original attack. Especially if you need to get some air combos on. If you got a bunch of ground-based enemies, it's not a problem. Shops restocked. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. Hmm. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I'm never prepared. I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored oh, it's arenas. Treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Of course. Um, I certainly hope you stay. Break that fourth wall, uh, fidget. Welcome to the challenge arena. Defeat enemies and destroy lamps for points. You will lose points by taking damage. Complete the challenge quickly. Okay. Turn trial. Dag nabbit son of a gun. Okay. That's lovely. Don't wait. Is this a lamp I gotta break? Okay. I think I probably passed some already, but oh well. Oopsie doodle.
Okay. Hello, Mr. Lion. I got dead. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. I wonder if I go back to the arena if she's going to say, This area looks familiar. Have we been here or something like that? We're not going to do the arena again, though. Not right now. What's all this? These flags. The challenge. I think I've. Hey, you're min. Just. Oh. Nah. I was hoping there'd be some kind of joke about. This feels like we've done this before. Did you die or something? Meanwhile, far to the north. Hello, Mr. Shiny Man. How are you today? Sir, I am doing fine. Are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course. Sir Kokomo! What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We... Are investigating, sir. Are you trying to it's grope me through the screen? Believe. Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. That bearded kitty cat That's says true. what you need to know, Mr. Squirrel or whatever you are. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Well, I mean, I probably have my reasons. I just realized, is that fidget sleeping up there? I yeah it is okay <laughs> I didn't realize I could look around that's actually quite adorable <laughs> I looked and I was like that's a foot uh well I guess we need to go back here for now hey buddy what was that mission you had for me that I probably didn't do Please, let me know if you come across those... I'll keep... Much appreciated. Fine, I'll go look and see what it is you wanted from me. Collect six Ave wings and six Ave claws. You're a monster. You expect me to get that many? How many do I have before I say anything silly? Too late, I know. So I got three of those. I need three more wings and a total of six claws. They call me Sandy Claws. Jump. Hello, shopkeep. How are you today? Welcome back. He looks at me longingly. I'm doing this for someone else. Don't ask me why I'm buying all those. Alright, we've got a lot of people to talk to around here. We've done several missions. Are you done yet? Are the guards going to be safe now? Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use one last job for you, Dust. One a strange flying creature called a florn that lives around these parts. Can I've already killed a few. Of electricity from its tentacles, a real nasty customer. Probably you just need to stop by the shop and get it. Florn tentacles and three florn sparks. I can use them to reinforce our guards' armor and give their weapons a bit of an extra kick. I'll pay a premium for them that you won't get from the shops around here. Okay. We'll talk to you later. You're going to be our main objective giver. Let's go down this time. Anything down here of interest? Save point. That works. Man, these floaty temples are everywhere. It must be like old ancient uh, call boxes or telephones, whatever you want to call them. Alright. 
Get this thing. Oh, crap. Really hope that didn't cost me a uh, item. Teleport stone. Nice. I'll come back to that later. Let's talk to some of these other folks that I need to. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. I'm Actually, glad you're okay. Maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Well, his of course. ass was handed to him by giants, so I mean... He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Okay. Da -da 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 duel I'm guessing you're the other survivor. Please, you too. I bet she's the one he said that he wouldn't kill no matter what happened. Oh, my box. No clue where to even try to look there, buddy. I'm thinking your girlfriend's dead. Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? <laughs> They're all we dead! It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you. From somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, have... let me see it. I'm sorry. Have, think, Mosca. have you ever... She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust. Go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for breaking the fourth wall. But yes, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Munska. Have you ever seen Dead Space? Because the whole entire first game is based on trying to find a girlfriend who sent you a note from her last known location. It doesn't go well. It doesn't go well at all. <laughs> ah, he attacked me. I'm kidding. Apparently wiping his shoes. Go, boy. Go. Just. <laughs> Renegade for life, baby. Paragon for life. He ruined it, Goku. He ruined it. Really ought to be better equipped in case anything else comes through here. I'm working on it. I crafted this. Yeah. All right, that's. It. All right, let's see what he's got to say, and then we'll head back the other way. Ah, dust. Thank you again for your help. It's like he's How trying to. Like doing? He's like I trying to not... poke me. Just need some time to think. Is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. It's that obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh, and it's valuable? No. Nope. To me, yes. For the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I Except for her. I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really. You don't know how much this means to me. We're close enough. I'm going to go that way and take care of it now. Oh, pocket watch. Oh, pocket watch. Those Why is this really happening here? Apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Gian's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? <laughs> I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Gian and Oneida. 
Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? Crap, I hit the bottom. You know when you hit rock bottom. <laughs> I, I'll admit, I am trying to jump across. Well, I need to find an explosive berry if I'm going to be doing that. Well, that wasn't right. I meant to open up the chest. Things went wrong. Very wrong. Well, he did to me what I went to do to him. Hey guys, I've been to your house. I stole your honey buns and robbed you blind. Crap. Okay, there's that thing right there. Maybe I gotta try and pull it off over here. Alright, that worked. Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Wall chicken! Well, could have went better. Oh, yeah. Did anyone tell you you didn't have to actually do all this? Well, that didn't work. I'm like literally mining out their property. How in the world did he lose his pocket watch down here? Is this not where I'm supposed to go? I feel like that's got to be the thing that I got to break. Okay, it was. Mysterious wall chicken, come back! Okay, the berry just didn't want to come with me. death spikes down there. We don't want to mess with those. Crapola. Well, this might take a minute. <laughs> what? Oh, that sucked something serious.
Okay, so it does have a timer, but it's a much, much longer one. Lockets and wall chicken! Honestly, we didn't even need the locket. The wall chicken's all I needed from this area. Thank you, mysterious wall chicken, for all you've done for me. It's almost like a collector's item for me now. I just kind of feel like I want to eat a mysterious wall chicken sandwich now. Right. So, there wasn't any monsters down there. They're going to be down there now. I mean, it's not like I didn't leave an open cave for them to hide in. Yeah, let's start on that side. Hey, buddy. You found it! I did? Oh, this. This is the this. nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Well, um, we did save your life, remember? <laughs> yes. Well, I meant aside from that. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. Thank you, Guillaume. I'm glad we were able to be of service. There's a treasure by my house about this that. I puts my mind already taken your treasure. Dust. You're poor now. I'm sorry. I, I took everything you've ever owned. Don't worry, I've got one item left to get you before you get your upgrades. I'll talk to you later after that. Hello, Itchy Man. It's the Itchy and Scratchy Show. I'll figure out where to go with you later. I'll deal with you later. Bouncy! This game is, you know, very visually awesome. Just sometimes looking in the background and seeing just the way they design things really goes well. Actually, I forgot. I need to talk to you, don't I? Quest complete! I'm not sure what you did, but Gian is back to his old self again. I slashed his guts! He no longer has those unhappy feelings. Florin Tentacles 3, Florin Spikes, or Sparks 2, 3, whatever. I have the best. Yes, you have the only stuff in town. I understand. All right. Thank you for coming. No, thank, thank you. you for being a shopkeep. Hello, tiny child. I was going to burn you, but I guess not. Here are those Achievement unlock. Opposite of fail. Here's your payment. And hero of Felania. Achievements. I everything I need, thanks to you. Yay! Thank you, Dust. I think we're set on materials. I like completing quests. Before we talk to him, let's go see if their outfits are actually upgraded yet. Because that'd be nice if they actually have better gear and not just talking about Metal Gear. I mean, better gear. Metal Gear. Otacon. This guy, he's got upgraded gear. Metal Gear. It's okay, Snake. Hi, bunny. This is a little faster to get around town. You guys look exactly the same. Where is your upgrades? I've got my eye on you. You and your annoying pet. I am not a pet. Just tell him I'm not your pet. <laughs> I will pet you all I want. You cannot stop me, little one. Please, take a break. I appreciate the armor. I seriously was hoping they'd have better armor and weapons now. I'm kind of sad. A little disappointed. Let's see what the Mad Mayor has to say. Mad Mayor Murphy! 
I am the Shadow. He is the Mechanist! At least this isn't draining my energy. Alright, we're here. Uh. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. Papa? The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? Yes, but then they I'm died. Sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. <coughs> this creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lizard. Perhaps. He was a Mewtwo. Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. But trying that must have been the guy we already saw in that cutscene. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. That's why she's a sad Rivers, kitty. I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about views, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. That means I'll run into her at another village in another time in the future. Wrong button. We nuked the village. I literally fly away, oh glory. I don't get it. Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Hi, lady. I'm here to talk to you. There's a bunny. She likes me. You like me? You're a kitty. I think I'm a kitty, maybe. I got a fluffy tail. Look at that tail. Do you oh, want to touch you. the tail? Mayor Bram said you left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked her village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! Fidget, please. <laughs> that <laughs> ending! And I'm really hungry! It's like... I don't know who I am. It's okay, Fidget. I'm dressed it's okay. as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. 
Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these moonbloods? What do they do? Came Nothing. from the moon. They, they were moon knights. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. This General Gaius may be a Nazi, but it's just hard. saying. There aren't many moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no genocide, please no. Stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The Don't rivers you and dare. around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. I uh. <laughs> it just started raining. I know it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh! I love how it just starts raining when they're like, "We're running out of water." Rain starts falling on my head. Do 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 do. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to That was him. ironic timing for that downpour. The campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. I exploded. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village. Ah, crap. <laughs> Cthulhu! Cthulhu Knights! Ginger, get down! Okay. A bit alien like. Hello, Kitty. I'm back. That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm. I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay Start here, building please. the next village when you get there. At the foot of the Rohan! They have great horsemen, I hear. Well, I got the uh, <laughs> guards up to full. No monsters over here? I thought they were going to be everywhere. You guys better be fighting some monsters down here. I'm going to give you one last chance. You are not fighting any monsters. I am disappointed in you. He's like, looks up and goes, hey, flying swordfish. She's gone, I say. She's gone. Ocarina of Time. I'd love it if you could do a no! I'll do it on my time, darn it. Thank you, Dust. We are indebted to you for your help. Best of luck on your... Doesn't make any sense. Thank you, Dust. I thought I was supposed to find these guys and kill them, but they're not here. Hidden Cove... Uh, I'm going to start the Hidden Cove, but we're not actually going to do this till the next episode. So I appreciate everybody for coming and joining me on this episode of uh, Dust and Elysian's Hail. If you like the content you saw, hit that like and subscribe for future content. And uh, leave a comment below if you feel like it. And uh, I will see you all in the future episodes. So be safe out there and take care, everybody. See ya.